Going to you, we'll go from there. We'll get started right away. Don't sit there quietly. This won't last forever. We got a question on the front. You got to take the microphone. Hold on, right here. Malik, you guys were in a tight game in the first half, and everything came unglued. You know, from your viewpoint, what happened out there? Um, you know, they just did a good job at just being physical at the point of attack. You know. Um, and Coach Coach Diaz kind of said, you know, they had that that one big run, and you could just feel the energy sucked out of our sideline. And, and that's something that Coach Rick preaches about is adversity. Like adversity is going to hit in every game, and I felt like we didn't respond very well at first. And then by the third, fourth quarter, it was just too late to respond. And that's something that we got to get better at. Um, I mean, we have a long season ahead of us, and we got a lot of great opponents. I mean, we still have a chance to win the ACC Coastal and the ACC Championship game. So that's that, that's our goal right now. But I mean, this this whole game was just a huge learning experience for us. I mean, they're a great team, and they did some stuff that we weren't prepared for, and then that's why I had so many scrambles and stuff. So I mean, my hat goes off to them, the defensive coordinator, for doing such a good job. We got another question on the front left. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Malik, you touched on you know the the lessons you learned, and, and there are lessons to be taken from this. What are some of the big ones that you've you've got tonight? Um. You know, I think the big thing was is that you're never out of the game, you know, because that, 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 those last four minutes, if we go down, especially that second before the last drive, when we score, we're going for two, we're down by eight. And, you know, that's, that, that's something that we got to take into consideration that no matter how bad it looks, that we got to keep playing, we got to keep fighting, because we, we did have a chance to come back and win that. And then I think, secondly, just some growing pains. You know, we got a new offensive line, a couple of new guys. Um, and I think their biggest thing was communication, which they did a great job for most of the game. And I think that's something that we got to get better at. Even from my point of view, communication is something that's really key. Got a question on the left front. Uh, Malik, obviously, they, they have got a pretty good defense. I know they're throwing all kinds of coverages and blitzes at you, but there were opportunities where guys were open that you just missed. Was it just a, a rhythm thing? What would you sort of um, put it on? You know, they, they did a really good job. Um, sometimes they went drop eight, and they, they made me throw it into tight windows. I mean, there was a couple of times where I almost missed Jeff. He made a great catch for me. And, and I mean, sometimes it's a bad play. There's other times I'm getting hit as I'm throwing. I mean, that's something that rhythm was off me. They, they did a really good job of just getting those three guys in my face and making me throw under pressure, so. Tyler, how? Wait, 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 we have to get a microphone to you, just a second. Tyler, how would you assess the O-line's play tonight? Um, I think for the majority of the time, the O-line, um, we, played, we played pretty well. We were able to communicate and stuff. Um, playing the first game of the season, you really don't know what that defense is going to come out with. They threw a lot of new blitzes at us. Um, and having a first-time starter, left guard and right guard, um, when we're doing two-minute drills, sometimes I'm not able to look up because I'm waiting for the count. So I have to rely on them to do the calls. And for the most part, Hayden did a great job at making those calls. Um, there's some stuff we didn't see that we have to go over because, I mean, we didn't know it was coming. We, we thought we planned for everything, and they, they, they brought a very good um, one-minute package at the end. Um, like Malik said, hats off to that defensive coordinator. He did a great job at the end with sending new blitzes. And, uh, I mean, I think that's what really killed us at the end. We've got a question on the right side, second row. Uh, this is for Malik. Uh, y'all really seem to embrace the expectations that came with this team entering the season. How do y'all think y'all handled those tonight? Um, I mean, it's always the first game of the year. So, I mean, it's kind of a down, a down set to lose the first game. But, I mean, like I said, we have a long season. And I feel like if we go out, we win every game. We're probably going to face Clemson or Florida State, one of those uh, Atlantic schools. I mean, if we go out and beat them, because they're going to be a top 10 team, and we have we still have a chance to make a national championship. If, if you go out and win the rest of your season and your division, you still have a chance. So, I mean, we're not out of it, and the big thing is we got to put this game behind us and get ready. Question on the front right. Lawrence, just, you know, Malik kind of mentioned how everything kind of, you saw the emotion go down after the, the big touchdown run. From your perspective, what was it like as one of the veterans maybe trying to encourage the younger guys to, to keep their head up as things started kind of spiraling a little bit? Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to, you know, with the young guys to, to preach that, you know, once certain certain things don't go well, to, um, you know, keep your head up. But, you know, that was our, that's our job as leaders, us three up here. And, um, you know, in our halftime speech, that's what we really stress. Like, hey, we're not out this game. We can continue to fight like we always do. We stress that during camp. So I think it's just, just going to grow and, Growing pains, and we're gonna be we're gonna be better as as the season goes. Okay, we got time for one final question for these student athletes, and we're gonna let them go. Anything final for these guys? Question on the front, right here on the front. 
just the job that Jeff was able to do tonight with making those big catches and the way he was able to lift you guys up there on, on offense? Um, yeah, you know, Jeff has done a great job throughout the whole camp. I mean, he's going to be a guy that's going to run away from man coverage. I mean, he's, I mean, as you can tell, he was running away from guys all day. And, um, I mean, sometimes he's so fast that he, could, he gets across the field too fast. And he almost covers himself. And we kind of talked about that. And that's the reason later I wound up hitting him on, like, third and, like, 15 because he was small enough to just kind of throttle himself because if he keeps running, he's going to run into a linebacker that's going to cover him. So, I mean, Jeff, me and Jeff are learning his speed because he's a different speed. He's, he's, he's a very fast guy. And I think once we finally figure it out, and, 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 and like I said, they threw different coverages. So we were used to, we were thinking there was going to be a guy running with him, and there wasn't. They were dropping defensive end. They were dropping two linebackers underneath Jeff trying to stop that crossing route. So, I mean, they, they had a great game plan for us, and, and that's something that we just got to grow from and learn from. Okay, guys, take it. We're going to let you all go back to the locker room and get clean.